All right, so those are those are some MLB thoughts for today. Talked about the Red Sox a little bit and the White Sox as well. And as always, I got to end. Well, not end it, but as always, I got to mention the Chicago Bears because my team. And I kind of want to get into their depth in the wide receiver position because this season they have so many weapons. It's like, it's like yes, yes, I'm so happy because we saw it last year. Alshon Jeffrey was he was scuffed up a lot. He couldn't stay on the field, and that was a major reason why the Bears were forced to franchise him. And then, of course, your first-round draft pick, seven overall, Kevin White, had to miss the entire season, but that's okay because I really, truly believe that Kevin White is going to be the next big, consistently dominant, reliable wide receiver in the NFL. I think he's going to be fantastic. And he hasn't even freaking taken a snap. But from what I've read, a lot of the positional coaches are ecstatic about his work ethic. He's doing a lot of good things. OTAs have started, guys. Training camp's right around the corner. But as I said, you know, he worked, he fought back from that shin surgery. And if people are concerned about Kevin White and like that particular injury, don't be. There's a freaking steel rod in his shin. That's not going to break. He's going to be fine there. It's, he even said that it feels better than before. So we're good. Don't worry about that. It's just if he's able to stay healthy and do things that we expect him to do, like catch the freaking football. <laughs> I'm, I'm, just, I'm so excited because they have more depth at the wide receiver position than they've had in a long time. You know, Alshon Jeffrey, I, oh man, if we talk about Jeffrey a little bit and the, the, the concerns that we have over him, he's in a new, he's in a new program where he's able to, you know, get his body into the right shape that will be able for him to stay on the field. They need him to stay on the field. It's plain and simple. And if he does that, he's going to make a lot of money next season. And, as much as I want to see Alshon Jeffrey stay, it's going to be tough because are the Bears going to be willing to dish out that kind of money? That remains to be seen. But it's obvious that Cutler and Jeffrey have this connection that Jeff, Cutler can just throw it up to Jeffrey and, you know, I would say like six out of ten times he'll go up and grab it. That back shoulder throw, it's by design, people. It, it's a thing of beauty. You know, he stops on a dime and comes back to the football, and it's it's a great sight. Kevin White, though, can he step in if Jeffrey's gone? Can he be that number one guy? And I think he can be. This is going to be a big year for, for Kevin White, and I, I truly believe that he can be a guy that can be relied on as that number one threat. As a number two, holy cow, that might be the best one-two duo in football. And again, he hasn't even taken a snap. But Kevin White's the real deal, people. You'll see it. And I think a lot of people agree that they're very excited about Kevin White, and he's going to be good. Another wide receiver that adds to the depth is Eddie Royal. Eddie Royal's more of a slot guy. He's, he's kind of that comfort zone for Cutler in the slot, so he again has to be on the field, damn it. He's, gotta, he's just got to not get hurt, and I know it was frustrating for him last year. We saw it. But he's just got to be able to stay on the field. Mark Mariani, he was, he he developed a good chemistry with color as well. And then this Daniel Braverman guy, seventh round draft pick. I think he's going to provide tremendous value. He's got speed. He reminds me of Johnny Knox a little bit. He's super fast. Johnny Knox was a very late round draft pick, if I'm not mistaken. I think he was a seventh round pick, and I think they were able to get him in the uh, Cutler deal. That's who ended up being the draft pick that the Bears were. It was something like that, but you guys can check me on it. You can bash me if I'm wrong, but Braverman, he can provide value in special teams as well as play in the slot and stretch the field. This guy's so fast, and he, I bet you, oh, I, if I was a betting man, which I might be, they would probably put him in a screen uh, pass position in a lot of uh, scenarios. So the, we saw it last year in the new Cutler, uh, Adam Gase system, that's pretty much going to be pushed on to Dow Loggins, who Dow Loggins, I believe, is a capable offensive coordinator. And I think he's going to work with Cutler. And I know there's going to be tweaks here and there, but it's pretty much going to essentially be the same philosophy. So you don't have to rely on Cutler to, you know, air it out every single down. And they have, I'm kind of getting off topic, 
because I was going to mention their their use of the three uh, uh, running backs and Langford, Carey, and Howard. But, you know, just had to mention that. But, yeah, in the screen pass game, that's going to be there. We saw it last year. Eddie Royal will be there. We saw screen passes to Alshon Jeffrey. I'm sure Kevin White's going to have some. Even Deontay Thompson, he's fast. And I didn't even mention Marquise Wilson, who's probably the fastest guy on the team. It's going to be exciting, guys. I'm really excited about the offensive weapons that the Chicago Bears have, and they have a capable quarterback to get the ball to them consistently. And I'm going to say it again. I think the Bears can make the playoffs next year. Let's do it. I'm, I'm so excited. I am so excited for football. But I am enjoying the baseball season because my Chicago Cubs are killing it still. They are still the best team in baseball, and I love saying that. So I'm sorry if you're getting sick and tired of hearing it, but got to do it. Got to do it, especially when they haven't well, been good in a long time. All right, anyway. Anyway, anyway. I'm going to wrap up this podcast by saying thank you all for listening and following and commenting and sharing. It's been awesome being able to talk sports with you every week. I'm happy to be back. I enjoyed my time in Florida, but nothing beats home, right? There's no place like home. If you want to follow us on Twitter and Snapchat, which I don't know why you wouldn't, you really should. It's at Most Valuable Pod. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Most Valuable Podcast. And again, if you would like to become a Patreon where you where you just donate a dollar, two dollars, hell, ten dollars a month, boy, that would be really nice. But it's just a little little thing for us to provide better content for you. It just helps us do more things here in Most Valuable Podcast. It would be awesome. You guys get exclusive content if you do subscribe and become a Patreon. If not, that's cool. I'm, you know, whatever. It's all right. Kind of hurts my feelings, but we're good. We're all good. Anyway, thank you all for listening once again. I hope you all have a terrific week, and I will see you all next time. Thank you for listening to this MVP podcast. Follow us on Twitter at Most Valuable Pod for more great podcasts.